Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today I'm going to show you how we're going to use pantyhose for a leopard print design. This does not get any easier. Um, this is a fashion tights that I purchased from Target. The thing was like 10 bucks. So I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and wrap this. It would be the same principle as if you were doing a fishing lure tumbler. As you can see, my tumbler is multicolored, kind of like an ombre-ish, but not really, but with no rhyme or reason. Purples, a peach, yellow, blue, fun colors. So as you can see, I'm just going to pull back the top so I can stick the pole inside the tumbler because I'm actually going to tie off the bottom and the top. When you do this, you do not want to stretch the stockings. You really just want to make it tight against the tumbler without distortion. So as you can see here, I'm just basically giving it a pinch at the toes where they would normally be and I'm literally just going to tie it off with a hair tie. You want to make sure this is nice and tight so that it doesn't slip or move when you're painting. Once that's nice and secure, we can go ahead and move to the top where the pole is. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna take a hair tie and we're gonna wrap it around the pole and the stockings just to keep it in place. Once you're happy with that, then we're ready to go ahead and spray paint. I chose white. But this is the blessing of tumblers. You can choose whatever colors your heart desires. As you can see here, when I did spray paint the white, I did not saturate anything. And I allowed this to dry for several hours before pulling the pantyhose off the tumbler. This was super easy and the, the pantyhose basically just slipped right off the cup. absolutely gorgeous I love love the texture not only of the colors coming through it's very vibrant yet very subtle and then there's a little bit of um, texture that's happening in between from the pantyhose absolutely love this so when I get ready to epoxy which I'm gonna use quick set from glitter craze I'm also gonna add in the epoxy snow caps additive just to give it a nice sparkle and shine Normally, I do not ever use two scoops um, with my um, epoxy additive, but for this one, because everything is paint and there's no glitter anywhere, I actually do use two scoops because I really wanted a little bit of sparkle to happen. Now, I have an excessive amount of epoxy, and not to worry, I use the remaining epoxy in a mold. So if you do not have molds, I highly recommend. This way, you never waste epoxy. So make sure everything is nice and stirred and then you're ready to go ahead and apply your first coat of epoxy.
Go ahead and make sure you pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see and allow this to dry. And typically during warmer days in Florida, I can wait about two hours for my quick set from Glitter Craze to completely dry. During the cooler days, like today, I had to wait about three and a half, four hours before I could apply the decal. So I purchased this super cute Be Savage Not Average leopard print from Etsy and I am using the vinyl, two different vinyls from Glitzy Girl Glitter which I will have all the links down below for you guys and I decided to layer this using a holographic and a black vinyl for this design. Once you have secured your decal, then you can go ahead and remove your contact sheet. So I had a little bit of a mess up where my leopard print was on the vinyl, but it's perfectly imperfect, so I don't mind. I absolutely love how this turned out. So when you're ready for your final coat of epoxy, choose your favorite. This, as usual, I am actually going to use for photo montage purposes for my tutorial Glitter Craze Quick Set. But I will use Counterculture DIY Art Artist Resin for the final coat of epoxy. Remember to use your torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please have that, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. If you have any questions or comments for this tutorial or any others, please don't hesitate to leave them down below as I try to answer every single one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.